Once again, welcome to the United States Army. You have made one of the greatest decisions of your life. This is a profession that only 3% of the United States population qualified to be a part of, and you should be proud to be a soldier. Kevin Marquez and Staff Sergeant Paul Pepper couldn't be any more different. What fell into the lap of one? I was just looking online one day, honestly, and I, I came across the Army page. Was the legacy of another. I come from a military family. Um, so it was always kind of something in the back of my mind. And looked. Young men and women yeah. just like Kevin find themselves in recruiting offices every day. Yet the United States Army was the only branch of the military to fail to make its recruiting goal in 2018, falling short by approximately 6,500 recruits. It has become a battle of low test scores, failing physical fitness, and a lack of information. I just feel like a lot of people aren't informed. Like, I feel like the way they see the army is like the way Hollywood portrays it. It's like they see it like, like war zone and everything, but it's not necessarily that. There are a lot of benefits to enlisting in the army, and it comes down to dollars and cents. When you compare a civilian police patrol officer job to that of a military police sergeant, the military sergeant makes nearly 10,000 more dollars, and that includes allowances and subsidiaries for your housing, food, taxes and health care. But with all these benefits, why is the Army struggling to meet recruitment goals this year? Lieutenant Colonel Scott Morley serves as the battalion commander for Phoenix Recruiting. He believes that if more families understood the benefits of service, numbers would cease to fall short. The benefits that the Army provides, again, I, I would love every family to do the math. I mean, with everything that we have to offer, it's worth an hour of your time to come find out if this is the right choice for you. And for Kevin, the Army is a step in the direction of his dreams, becoming a nurse. I just feel like it's a good way to, to like start my career, like the nursing. I feel like I'm gonna get training that's really good. You know, it's military training as well. Go for 330 News, Go Danielle Malkin, Phoenix. Go